Okay, we start off with some Sweet Maria's green beans. In this case, we'll be using Ethiopia wet process Uraga Lyo Terraga. And the tools we'll be using today to roast coffee beans include the Wherever Popcorn Pumper with a tin can on top and half a cup of those coffee beans from Sweet Maria's from Ethiopia, my favorite. A stirring and poking stick A timer from China, $2.99 at Merit Line. And a couple of bowls to pour the contents in when we're done. We're cooling things down. I can see my reflection. It's so clean. And a colander, which lets air through. It helps to cool the beans down. So let's start this noisy baby up here. Warm up a little bit. And we'll start the timer. Pour in the beans. And shake around a bit. Get things moving, get rid of the dust. About the one minute mark, we notice the beans are turning yellow and some of the husks are coming off. It's snowing and smoking a little bit too. down there very well, but we're starting to get that sweet hay smell, and the beans are yellowing somewhat. And at about the three minute mark, which is another half minute, we'll start getting a lot of the um, silver skins coming off of there. They're already starting to come out. You see. And we should get our first crack sometime around between three and four minutes. There, there we go, first crack at 3 minutes and 18 seconds. crack will stop pretty soon and there will be a brief delay and then we'll get the beginning of second crack. That's when I like to stop the process and cool the beans down. I guess that's called city roast, I believe. Four and a half minutes now into the process. This time I'll bring a flashlight or some kind of a light. You can see the beans changing color. They're looking beautiful now. I'll have to take my word for it. Okay. For all intents and purposes, first crack is stopped and we're at 
five minutes. Probably get second crack in another minute or two. Well, still getting occasional, occasional cracks in there. melt the camera lens. It is hot air coming out of there. Try to blow the shaft away often so it doesn't clog the motor. I'm getting the receptacles ready to accept the beans. Oh, I think we're starting to hear a little second crack, that snap, crackle, pop, Rice Krispies sound. And we're at six minutes and a half, just about. Yeah, we're getting second crack. I think we're about ready to stop it. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Hot, hot, hot. And there they are. So I'm going to have to put this down to do a better job of cooling the beans. So excuse me. And there's our beautiful batch of beans. Let's get it out in some light here. So you can see what it really looks like. Well, I'm not sure how that's going to show up, but the color looks gorgeous to me. It smells good, too. Yeah, good job. put it on some ice to cool it down a little faster. And that's it. Fresh roasted coffee. Ah, we've got the coffee sitting on top of some ice to cool it down in the mixing bowl. And won't be long now. Okay, now that the beans are nice and cool, they smell wonderful. Too bad you can't smell them over the video. Uh, we're going to put them in a container just to get an idea. You can see the size, how much they've expanded compared to uh, what they were when they were green. Once again, this is from Sweet Maria's Ethiopia. Wet process Uraga Lyo Turaga. And uh, we're going to put the beans into our special container. It's a fris, fris fresh. And um, this container allows the CO2 to escape through this little filter and valve while locking the freshness in. And we'll keep our measuring uh, cup in there, which is a 29.6 um, cc made in New Jersey. Heaven forbid we should make a cup with 30 cc's, but this is what it calls for. And that's it. Oh, finally we can mark the date on the top and what is today I think the seventh or sixth of the month so we'll know when we did it and that's it we're done